Republicans dropped Jim Jordan as their House Speaker nominee. Republicans dropped Representative Jim Jordan on Friday as their nominee for House Speaker, making the decision during a closed-door session after the hard-edged ally of Donald Trump failed badly on a third ballot for the gavel. Afterward, Jordan said simply of his colleagues, we put the question to them, they made a different decision. The hard-charging Judiciary Committee chairman said House Republicans now need to come together and figure out who our speaker is going to be. The House impasse deepening into a full-blown crisis. Republicans have no realistic or workable plan to unite the fractured GOP majority, elect a new speaker and return to the work of Congress that has been languishing since hardline is ousted Kevin McCarthy at the start of the month. Majority leader Steve Scalise said they're going, come back and start over, on Monday. Angry, frustrated Republicans who have been watching their majority control descend into chaos left the private session blaming one another for the divisions they have created. We're in a very bad place right now, McCarthy said earlier. In a floor vote Friday morning, Jordan's third reach for the gavel, he lost 25 Republican colleagues. Worse than he had fared earlier in the week, and far from the majority needed, as they reject his hardline approach. But after two failed votes, Jordan's third attempt at the gavel essentially collapsed in large part because more centrist Republicans are revolting over the nominee and the hardball tactics being used to win their votes. Ahead of the vote, Jordan showed no signs of stepping aside, insisting at a Capitol press conference, the American people are hungry for change. But afterward Jordan told colleagues behind closed doors, I tried my best, according to one of his opponents, Representative Don Bacon, R. Neb. For more than two weeks the stalemate has shut down the U.S. House, leaving a seat of American democracy severely hobbled at a time of challenges at home and abroad. It appears there is no Republican at present who can win a clear majority, 217 votes, to become Speaker. In fact, the hard-charging judiciary chairman lost rather than gained votes despite hours spent trying to win over holdouts, no improvement from the 20 and then 22 Republicans he lost in early rounds this week. Friday's vote was 194 for Jordan, his lowest tally yet, and 210 for Jeffries, with two absences on each side. Next steps were highly uncertain as angry, frustrated Republicans predict the House could essentially stay closed for the foreseeable future, perhaps until the mid-November deadline for Congress to approve funding or risk a federal government shutdown. What was clear was that Jordan was refusing to step aside, appearing determined to wait out his foes even as his path to become House Speaker was all but collapsing. Many view Jordan, a founding member of the hard right House Freedom Caucus, as too extreme for a central seat of U.S. power, second in line to the presidency. Democratic leader Jeffries reiterated that his party was ready, willing and able to partner with more traditional Republicans on a path to reopen the House, particularly as Congress is being asked to consider President Joe Biden's aid package for Israel, Ukraine and other needs. A closed-door meeting Thursday to regroup grew heated at times with Republican factions blaming one another for sending their majority into chaos, lawmakers said. To win over GOP colleagues, Jordan had relied on backing from Trump, the party's front-runner in the 2024 election, and groups pressuring rank-and-file lawmakers for the vote. But they were not enough and in fact backfired on some. Jordan has been a top Trump ally particularly during the January 6 Capitol attack by the former president's backers who were trying to overturn the 2020 election he lost to Biden. Days later, Trump awarded Jordan a Medal of Freedom. Some years ago, Jordan denied allegations from former wrestlers during his time as an assistant wrestling coach at Ohio State University who accused him of knowing about claims they were inappropriately groped by an Ohio State doctor. Jordan has said he was never aware of any abuse.